da 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 Hey, how, oh, hey, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Yeah, out here in the, you know, sunrise, whatever, catch them first rays where you can still look at the sun. Maybe I can't look at the sun. Anyway, the point is, right, now this is a good time to wake when you wake up, you know, do your stuff, but did a whole lot of stuff, was doing, doing some wash out here, whatever. And, uh, and I decided, hey, it's a Wednesday. You know what that means? It's World Day. You know, we talk about stuff in the world, you know, like Tuesdays is U.S. kind of stuff day. Uh, Mondays is, well, me day. Uh, Sundays, I usually try to read something and then talk about whatever. Uh, Saturdays is all day, whatever comes to my mind. Fridays is, well, sort of like a wrap-up of things that I missed during the week. Thursdays is audio drama day. Mm -hmm. And um, Wednesdays is World Day. So, you know, I'm out here in the world. Actually, I'm in Dambaza, in Africa. Oh, hey, look at that. I got Nkrumah, Kwame. See? See the t-shirt I got from him? Look at it. Yeah, there he goes. It's made for me, uh, not made for me, but I mean, uh, Isaiah's t-shirt maker out of Cape Town. And uh, where is he now? Out of Cape Town and um, Makanda and, and, and I guess it's Zimbabwe, wherever. Wherever he is right now. Anyway, he has these wonderful t-shirts, and I have a few of them. This is my Nkrumah one. Uh, why, why bring up all this world, you know? Here's the interesting thing about Nkrumah. Uh, he, he wasn't at the Ben Dunn conference, but he was at the other, because uh, uh, he wasn't, well, they, they, they did the liberation of Ben Dunn conference, what, 57 or whatever it was. Yeah, whenever, early 50s. And he came to power in like 61, 66, 61, whatever, yeah, 61, 66, he got like the pose for, you know, you know the, the regular thing. And then he went to for some treatment someplace in Romania or something like that. And uh, you know, there's a, there's some really good documentation on this. But you know, he had his own cook. Like, you, know, you need to have your own cook. I'm my, I'm my own cook. <laughs> well, my wife cooks for me too, but well, that's only because she insists, right? But uh, I'm my own cook, man. You know, and then well, I might be going to Cape Town. Well, I'm going to Cape Town next week, so. But, but it ain't gonna be that. I'll be cooking myself. Be your own cook, or make sure you have a cook that's trusted because what happened was he was fine, but when he got to Romania, uh, like, they killed his cook. Well, his cook died, let's put it that way. And then like six months later, he gone. Eh, I'm not saying, I'm not being conspiratorial, I'm just saying, right? Anyway, the, the points of the crew, I'll, I'll be short. The points of the crew is this. He, uh, he advocated for a pan-African kind of thing, or all Africa thing, because he's African, you know what I mean? I know he went to Lincoln University, which, you know, he got some, he got a lot of insight, you know, about, because, uh, you know, black people in the United States, you know, we give a lot of insight to a lot of people. Now, before it was more political, and then uh, then they neutralized what they, well, neutralized the NAACP and all those other, you know, civil rights-y, civil rights -y people, and that uh, they wouldn't let them be international no more. So, <laughs> so, you know, that went away. So all we had left is culture, so we, so now you got our culture, but we gotta re re reel that back in, because the culture we got now, Lordy be. Uh, when I say the culture we got now, the culture that's projected, because, you know, the black culture, people understand, black culture in the United States, I'm talking about the United States, I'm talking about the world. Anyway, I'm saying because it goes to, goes to the world. But, but, but there's a whole underlying thing. A lot of us cultural workers, you know, us cultural revolutionaries, uh, you know, we, we're still on it, you know. It's just that, you know, the media, whatever, they, they push those other people, and those other people are not rightly trained, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, that, hence you have all the stuff with the, with, with the diddler and was, you know, all them people, they, they went into the, the lowest form of whatever you go, you know, with your chakras, they're stuck on the third chakra, they're not even whatever. Uh, but a lot of us, we're up to like, you know, six, seven, I say there's nine chakras, but i probably wrong, right? <laughs> Who cares if I'm wrong or right? I'm, I'm just, there's nine chakras, go, you go, there, there, there's seven, then there's eight, right there, right there, then nine, and then, then, then you sort of go, right? Has to do with incarnation, so reincarnation, stuff like that. Don't worry about that part. Anyway, back to Nkrumah. His importance was that he, yeah, he said, "Look, Africa, we got to do our thing, you know, because if we if we stick with this colonial model, because what happens as soon as they got liberated, 
you know, the first thing they, well, because they, they took all the resources out of, uh, this is, when they say the global south, they say the global south, but it's really uh, ex-colonized countries, you know, uh, the, the, the colonizers took all the resources out, and then when they got to the liberation, they said, hey, we need some, we need some stuff happening here, so they went back to the colonizers, hey, we need to borrow some money so we can, uh, it, it, it's a mess, but, but anyway, the point is, he was saying, look, hey, no, we gotta, we gotta take out, get our resources, and be, be one, you know, get out, or whatever's happened, and, 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 and the modern technology we have to embrace, and, and, this is most important, we need to, uh, deal with our traditional stuff. In other words, we need we need, we need we need to meld the modern and the traditional together. That's the thing that's most important to me. Because uh, one of the things we're trying to do here is take aspects of the traditional and, and of course it's so technologically wonderful these days, you know, because here I'm talking to you and I'm in Africa and I'm, I'm, I'm anyway, so, so, so what, what, what we need to do is take the uh, aspects of traditional, because you know, where did where did where did all the, the the Greekies and the Romanies they get their stuff? They got their stuff from Africa, and I, I love look listen, listen to all these history things, and they always mention the Europe and the they, 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 they never say, hey, you know, Africa was what was Africa doing when they <laughs> when they were having their whatever whatever whatever. So anyway, we need to go back to go back. We need to explore more with the African, including religion. You know, what I mean, religion comes from. Af Come on now, you know what I'm talking about. So religion has been hijacked. I should say spirituality has been spirituality. That's always the same. So you can go back to that. But now we have these religious leaders and these cult leaders and these degrees and the wuharis and the wuharis and the intermaxis and uh, and they sort of lead you astray because they only uh, 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 are focused on uh, on 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 reacting to certain things that happen in their their knowledge. They don't go beyond, you know, where the, the source. They don't go to the source of the Nile. And that's what I'm trying to say. You know, they're up there. They, they're stuck in Egypt. Uh, okay, I'm, let, me not live, let me not piss off the Egyptologists. No, I'm just saying, right? The source, because there's pyramids all down there, including back to you know the, the Zimbabwe. You talk about Zimbabwe. You know. So my point is, you got to do total research. And the way to do that is you got to go so far into yourself that you tap into your Nekrumpas, you know, you, you tap into your, 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 your people that have the vision to say, hey, we can use the modern thing, but at the same time, we need to apply some some principles and some you know, stuff from the uh, from our tradition, our lineage, our way back when, and shoot, like that. I just thought I'd lay that on you because it's, it's, it's Wednesday, I want to talk about you know, because, you know, look, in other words, you can go beyond, no, let me not tell you what to do. In my estimation, uh, you know, as as some, as some I would like to say, sometimes I'm a black nationalist, sometimes I'm pan African, but I'm, all, I'm always black. I'm always an internationalist. Yeah. Hey, Robert F. Williams. Okay, talk to you all later. Be well, and uh, see you soon. Well, maybe not see you, but, you know, you know what I'm talking about.